I welcome all the learners to Youth Minds initiative of 10 minutes and newspaper done. We at Youth Mind can guarantee one thing that newspaper cannot be covered in lesser time than what we are offering with such holistic coverage of UPSC relevant content. So let's begin with the news of 17th May. Six articles have been selected today. You can download the gist from our telegram channel or daily current affairs tab. First news, center state relations. Chhattisgarh had recently filed an original suit invoking Article 131 of the Constitution, challenging the legality of certain provisions of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act 2002. Previously also, Chhattisgarh government had filed a suit in Supreme Court in January 2020 under the same Article 131 against the National Investigation Agency Act 2008, claiming that police and public order are the state subjects. Article 131 has been invoked in various cases. Now, what is Article 131? It is an original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court, subject to the provisions of the Constitution, that Supreme Court shall, to the exclusion of any other court, that means no other court has the right to intervene in such matters, have original jurisdiction in any dispute between the government of India and one or more states, between the government of India and any state or states on one side and one or more states on the other, between two or more states if and in so far as the dispute involves any question on which the existence or extent of legal right depends. Now, there are other constitutional provisions related to centre-state relations like Article 262, which is water disputes between two or more states, Part 11, that is Article 245 to 263 of Indian Constitution, 7 schedule which divides the list of legislative subjects between union and states. Article 256 states that executive power of every state must ensure compliance with the laws made by parliament. That is, Indian federalism is biased towards the centre or parliament. Article 365 that if government of state is not carried on in accordance with the constitution, president can take decision and president rule can be applied. These are the rules of these are the some these are some of the provisions related to center state relations in our constitution. Second news: the Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council's order not to issue a scheduled tribe certificate to any Khasi person who adopts father's surname has triggered a war of words in matrilineal Meghalaya. Sixth Schedule of Indian Constitution. Now, Khasi Hills Autonomous District Council is a body under the Sixth Schedule of the Constitution. What is Sixth Schedule? The Sixth Schedule of the Constitution provides for the administration of tribal areas in Assam, Meghalaya, Tripura and Mizoram to safeguard the rights of the tribal population in these states. You can remember these states as ATM Square, Assam, Tripura, Meghalaya and Mizoram. Sixth Schedule provides for autonomy in the administration of these areas through autonomous district councils, which are empowered to make laws in respect of areas under their jurisdiction. That is, our Indian constitution allows tribals to live their way of life. The Acts of Parliament or the State Legislature do not apply to autonomous districts or apply with specified modification and exceptions. That is, as per the requirements of the tribals. The power of direction in this regard lies either with the president or governor. Each autonomous district has a district council consisting of 30 members, of whom 4 are nominated by the governor and the remaining 26 are elected on the basis of adult franchising. The elected member hold office for a term of 5 years unless the council is dissolved earlier and nominated members hold office at pleasure of the governor. Third news. With militants changing tack, Rajori put sector and uphill task for security agencies. Militants are changing tack in the Peer Panjal Valley to outsmart the security agencies and survive longer in a region with the topography as tough as Afghanistan's mountains. The valley spans the twin districts of Rajori and Pooj and 225 km of LOC with POK. Now, changing tactics after infiltration, infiltrators either head towards the sympathizer whose geo-coordinates are known and fed to their phone or take shelter in the houses and higher ridges forcibly. The use of smarter sleeper cells, the impenetrable means of communication and the high level of training that militants are being given to fight and survive in hostile forests. 
militants are using ysms technology now ysms technology is a communication via very high frequency with the help of a smartphone these encrypted messages leave no digital footprint and make it almost impenetrable another use of technology is offline seamless phone activation where bluetooth is used for communication and prefed locations are followed on the offline application on phones the hundreds of divided families with relatives across the loc and the growing numbers of locals migrating to gulf countries have allowed a triangular means of communication and remains a cause of concern for security agencies fourth article is about maternal health care in may a un report showed that india was among the 10 countries that together accounted for 60% of global maternal deaths stillbirths and newborn deaths India accounted for over 17% of such deaths in 2020 followed by Nigeria 12% and Pakistan 10%. The report also showed that India has the second highest number of maternal deaths 24000 after Nigeria. Interventions suggested are the report reiterated the three major interventions that help reduce maternal deaths. First going for four antenatal care visits for anc visits during pregnancy having a skilled attendant at birth and receiving postnatal care within the first two days after birth during antenatal care health workers educate women about complications during pregnancy and labor and after childbirth the visits also help women to get access to micronutrient supplementation like iron and folic acid to prevent anemia which can lead to maternal and perinatal mortality it helps them seek treatment for hypertension to prevent eclampsia and to get immunization against tetanus and other endemic diseases there are some issues observed in following these suggestions according to data from national family health survey 5 and un report data in 28% of the cases either the husband or the family deemed antenatal care visits unnecessary or did not allow the pregnant women to visit the center in india 6.1% of mothers did not go for even one anc visit during their recent pregnancy while 34.1% of them went once twice or thrice which is less than the four visits recommended by the who a noticeable urban rural divide was there more importantly only 39.9% of mothers who had no school education completed four anc visits compared to the 68.6% of those who completed 12 years of schooling such stark differences were observed across class and caste now india has improved its maternal mortality rate as told to parliament on march 21 2023 it went down to 97 per lakh live births in tw- in 2018 20 from 103 per lakh in 2017-19 assam has the highest mmr at 195 whereas kerala remains the best performer with a low mmr of only 19 per lakh live births though india's performance has improved consistently but we lag behind the un sdg target of mmr 70 per lakh live births which has to be achieved by 2030 Fifth article is about 22 people had died after consuming spurious liquor in the Chengalpattu and Villuppuram districts of Tamil Nadu. For recreational purposes, the alcohol in question is almost always ethanol. Ethanol is psychoactive drug that, in low doses, reduces the level of neurotransmission in the body, leading to typical intoxicating effects. Contrary to popular belief, the WHO has found that no level of its consumption is safe for our health. long term use leads to dependence heightens the risk of some cancers heart diseases and death ethanol's chemical formula is c2h5oh in which oh is the hydroxyl group inside the body it is metabolized in the liver and the stomach by alcohol dehydrogenase adh enzymes to acetaldehyde the adverse effects of alcohol consumption from the hangover to a cancer are due to acetaldehyde Now spurious liquor is the liquid mixture which has ethanol as well as methanol. The methanol formula is CH3OH. The most common way to produce methanol is to combine carbon monoxide and hydrogen in the presence of copper and zinc oxides as catalyst at 50 to 100 atmospheric pressure and 250 degrees Celsius. Methanol has several industrial applications like a precursor to acetic acid, formaldehyde and aromatic hydrocarbons. It is also used as a solvent and as antifreeze. The deadliness of spurious liquor arises from methanol. 
Once ingested, methanol is metabolized in the liver by ADH enzymes to form formaldehyde. Then ALDH enzymes convert formaldehyde to formic acid. The accumulation of formic acid over time leads to painful condition called metabolic acidosis. Acidosis can lead to acidemia, a condition wherein the blood's pH drops below its normal value of 7.35, becoming increasingly acidic. As methanol is metabolized, the concentration of the bicarbonate ion drops, leading to the acid gaining the upper hand. Formic acid also interferes with an enzyme called cytochrome oxidase, which in turn disrupts cells' ability to use oxygen and leads to the buildup of lactic acid, contributing to acidosis. According to a paper published by Archives of Toxicology in January 2022, consuming methanol also leads to methanol-induced optic neuropathy, a serious condition that may result in long-term or irreversible visual impairment or even blindness, damage and loss of function of the optic nerve and retina. Methanol poisoning can lead to cerebral edema, hemorrhage and death. Now, there are two ways to treat methanol poisoning. One is to administer ethanol which may sound counterintuitive, but ethanol competes very well with methanol for the ADH enzymes. The other option is to administer an antidote called fompizole, which has a similar mechanism. It slows the action of the ADH enzymes. Both courses of actions are limited by the availability of their character characteristic compounds. Fompizole is expensive, whereas pharmaceutical grade ethanol needs to be administered under supervision. Healthcare workers may also have the individual undertake a dialysis to remove methanol and formic acid salts from the blood and mitigate damage to the kidneys and retina. They may also administer folinic acid which encourages the formic acid to break up into carbon dioxide and water. Both fompizole and folinic acid are in the WHO's list of essential medicines. Sixth news, arrested DRDO scientists sent to 14-day judicial custody. DRDO scientist Pradeep Kurulkar was recently arrested in a suspected case of honey trap for providing confidential information to a Pakistani agent. A probe had revealed that he was allegedly in touch with a woman Pakistani operative through WhatsApp message, voice and video calls and had shared sensitive information with her. Now you can use this example as ethical concerns and dilemmas in government institutions. Thank you for watching. Let us know your feedback in the comments and keep visiting our website, Telegram, Instagram and Twitter handles.